Hello guys, welcome to Physics TV Global. I hope you all are doing well. I'm really very grateful to you all for your great response on my previous videos. I hope you will increase the rate of response on my all coming video. Today I'm gonna explain very important topic, motor effect. And I am pretty sure that after watching this video, completely without missing any part of it you will be able to know what is a motor effect what is a fleming left hand rule how we can find the north and south pole by using this fleming left hand rule what are the two types of right hand rule and how where we can implement how we can find the magnetic lines of force around the current carrying conductor and how we can find the north and the south pole around a magnet electromagnet which is going to going to be formed with the help of a solenoid i will explain all these basic rules related to the motor effect with the help of a was to use a white board and animated video and I will also try to give you some practice with the help of simulated activity. So just move towards the Microsoft whiteboard. Dear students, just to make you understand about the motor effect, first I will explain one of the important and the basic property of a magnet basic property it is also called the principle or also we can say law or what magnetic magnetic principle or magnetic law of attraction and repulsion attraction or repulsion all right, or simply we just say like poles repel and unlike attract always. But the proper word is use that the principle, magnetic principle of attraction or repulsion, or the magnetic law of attraction or repulsion. But you know, there are so many properties of a magnet, magnetizations and different types of method that how we can make a magnet what means of magnetic substance ferromagnetic non-ferromagnetic and so on so on all these basic things i will discuss in another video so here just only this one property and just a little uh, i will discuss about the electromagnet only because that are needed to understand the motor effect so go ahead about first thing about the bar magnet you know about the bar magnet look over here the bar magnet in the bar magnet we know that there are two poles the north pole and the south pole and always the medical lines of forces generate from the north and absorbs come back in the, um, uh, the respective same position in the south right so here you can see 
that the shape second particular shape what is the shape of these lines of forces lines of forces lines of forces or other words we use magnetic lines of forces magnetic lines of forces so if we are saying forces this means it must have the direction yes it has the direction as we can see here all these are going to direct it in a one specific direction rather you see in the upward or in the downward direction that we have traced out with the help of a compass as i said in this i will explain all these things in the basic uh, property of a magnet in another video so here so now you just keep in mind that yes the direct the direction of these magnetic lines of force are what that from north to south and in which way in a semicircle way semicircle 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 but same, same here if we go over here it will also go like this means this right here like like a big like this and it will come back on the same path and so on so on so two things keep in mind that yes the lines of forces means uh, emit out produced from the north and absorbs in the south having the direction north to south shape semicircle all right now if we see that this bar magnet is in hanging conditions another bar magnet is in front of it uh, which uh, means uh, a person is holding and it is placed faced that both the both the, both the faces north and north are facing one other what will be happen because it's hanging with a string, I mean, it's it's a, a movable. I mean, uh, uh, due to the string and the hanging condition, so when the force will act in this direction, due to repulsion of this one, so what will be happen? It will start to rotate, move to in anti-clockwise direction. If we look over here, what's happening? North and here is the south. So what will be happen? It will attract. The direction will be like this. Means now the direction of the rotation, direction of the motion in the another magnet, it will be clockwise. It means that, it means that if we want, we can produce clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations with the help of a magnet. All right, keep in mind, this is an important factor that I will use later. Now come back to this magnet. See the bar magnet and keep in mind always we use this red color for the north 99.9 percent .9 red color is represented for the north pole of a bar magnet what about other color rather it is a gray rather it is a white or rather it is the dark green or the light green whatever all other colors they represent the south pole south pole of a magnet okay so here north pole here the south pole and here we can say in this diagram that south here north they are facing one other opposite pole are facing one and other so what will be happen as we have discussed over here they will attract okay all right but here this the the sign sometimes here students confused okay for example this is bar magnet a this is bar magnet b now if i talk about the first the magnet a uh, like uh, let me change the color uh, this one this one okay arrow is directed towards the b so it seems to be so usually considered that this is the force of a magnet a is it the force of magnet a think no this is not the representation of a force producing from magnet a but this is the force this is the force which is uh, which is the which is representing for what for the magnet b means magnet b is attracting this magnet towards itself so it means this symbol is for what not related to the magnet a but it is related to the magnet b this is four of magnet b uh, which we represent okay that in the attraction form same thing over here the magnet b this is a magnet B as the more what about this one rather this is the force of a magnetic B representation of force of magnetic B symbol for the force of magnetic B no this is and as, as I discussed before this is the this this force is related to the magnet A why magnet A is attracting this bar towards itself that's why this force this force this direction this symbol is belong to what belong to magnet a that magnet a is attracting 
that's why here we can say both are attracting one another I mean attractions will exist over there so keep this mind always this use the concept of these arrows when we replace whatever the shape of magnets we are using same thing is over here no need to repeat it again but here we can see what's happening this is so we know that it means this is the force of this magnet for example this is magnet b and this is what it is pushing this magnet to go away and same thing like this one what's happening this for this is magnet a magnet a is also what this is symbol for magnet a and it is pushing the second this bar magnet b away from it that's why we can say that they are repelling one another the other there is a repulsion between them okay and what if we change the shape then it will be same it will follow the same property of attraction or repulsion but due to change of shape we can make a rotation okay that i will discuss later in detail okay so it means here the thing what i want to keep in your mind that yes with the help of a magnet of our magnet we can produce the turning we can produce the motion we can produce the rotations all right now just say one and other type of a magnet I mean not necessary that only we use a bar magnet and in the motor effect we use two types of a magnet what is another magnet if there is an electric wire rather the current is moving in the downward direction conventional current the positive so it will come like this or rather uh, it is the current is moving in the upward direction if upward then positive should be in this direction by following the conventional current so what do we see we feel that we feel the same thing I mean, if we use the compass how we get this one here these lines of forces i has told you before these semicircles with the help of a compass compass is a device which is also a small needle small magnetic needle with the help of which with the help of a sorry compass with the help of which we can find we can trace out the lines of forces so in the same way as around the bar magnet there are a lines of forces so not only these one not only one two three four five lines of forces existing here millions of lines of forces existing around it there's a cloud there's a bunch of lines of forces over there and the above side and the, the lower sides but just understanding we just draw only the few but just keep in mind that yes just around the magnet as i'm talking around me there is a there, there are the waves of a sound I mean um, all of me in the same way here what's happening that around the bar magnet there are the so many medical lines of forces I mean the magnetic bar is surrounding with the cloud of uh, lines of forces which are the forces magnetic lines of forces so but when we use the current rather moving downward or rather moving upward and if we use a compass if we come pop place compass over here a different position around it what we observe we observe compass behave in the same way as it behave around the bar magnet where the bar magnet compass needle was giving the motion and according to the that the motion of a compass the direction of the motion of a compass we trace the magnetic field lines around the bar magnet so same thing is happening over here that we see there's a deflection when we place the compass around the conductor or on that wire through which current is flowing keep in mind when current is flowing if no current it will not mean show any reaction it will not react there will be no any motion in the compass but if current is there then we see what happens that you will see this i will this i will explain also with the help of animated videos later and in the, in the same in the same lesson so please watch all there it will be 100 percent more than 100 percent uh clear to you okay that how it happens all right so same things so some stuff see in this diagram see this is the compass needle okay with the help of a compass what happens that it always produce the the lines of forces around the around the current carrying conductor but what is the difference before also we observed around the bar magnet but around the bar magnet what was a what was the shape it was the semicircle semicircle okay all around from north to south but here what we observing they're complete in circular form complete circular form and here what was the direction from north to south and here also these are the lines of forces yes of course the direction is changing they are in the shape is changing they are in the circular shape so now here what will be the direction here we cannot say north to south 
so not, not south to north so what it what is the direction over here but this need to understand what this we used the right hand rule right hand look over here right hand right hand thumb rule or maxwell complete name is what maxwell's right hand thumb rule because usually we say just right hand rule or hr we can uh, use this um, the abbreviation all right so see what is this right hand right keep in mind sometimes students because we also uh, have uh, some uh, few left hand rules sometimes students they need the right hand but they they are they're using left hand and sometimes when they are using they need the left hand rule they are using the right hand so please keep the difference well in your mind that which time you need the right hand so here we always we need you need the right hand rule when we need to find the direction because the lines of forces so what are the direction for that direction to know we need what the right hand rule this is the one of the use later we also discuss that in the same video another use of a right hand rule okay so what is this in this right hand rule first right hand then what this is the thumb then all fingers together two things we used in two proper way what the with that just we adjust the the thumb in such a way that it must be directed towards the flow of current towards the flow of current like here you see the current is upward in this diagram so see thumb is in the upward direction so when thumb is upward direction just your job is your task is to adjust the thumb then curl the fingers by yourself when you will curl the fingers fingers will tell you the direction of a magnetic field lines so what is the direction say here that is the anti-clockwise easily we can see again i will show you this with the animated videos later just wait but now just may first make the basic concept anti-clockwise and just look over here here current is flowing downward so then you have to adjust the thumb in the downward direction so when thumb is in the downward direction then curl your finger just curl your fingers okay so by itself you will you will find by yourself that what it will be clockwise it will be clockwise so this is the tip for you also mostly always it happens like this rather current is flowing the this mean the upward or the downward so what is the tip if a current is flowing downward okay like here or the like here then what we have which type of direction is there there's a clockwise clockwise and if opposite current is flowing upward then always always it gives the anti-clockwise but not necessary that all the time can flow upward or the downward it can flow uh, right side it can flow left side it can be written inclined also what are the directions there no worry just follow the right hand rule which that just adjust the thumb whatever the direction of the flow of current is there and then curl your fingers so your fingers will show you the direction of direction of the magnetic lines of forces around the wire all right so just keep in mind that yes magnetic field lines will be produced whenever current will be passed through any conductor conductor mostly we use the electric wire but it can be any type of a conductor so always main thing is always current carrying conductor um, exists produce magnetic lines of forces around it and that can be the clockwise or that can be the anti-clockwise all right after this one thing more just to make you best in the motor effect what is another aspect or another important fact of what that is the electromagnet as you can see two two parts electro the electricity that when we make the magnets with the help of a current with the help of electricity that is the electromagnet look over here this is just a nail whatever not, not only the nail if you have any piece of a magnetic substance as i said this what means of magnetic substance non magnetic substance ferromagnetic non ferromagnetic all this i will discuss in the another basic properties of a magnet in another video all right so this is the magnetic substance if what happens first before up i have discussed if current flow through it the magnetic force will produce around it clockwise or anti clockwise depends on the direction of motion of a current but just if we make a little change listen carefully which change that i take the wire electric wire but i just change the shape shape of just wrap over that conductor if i wrap over the conductor 
okay and then i flow the current through that through that shape this shape is called what it also has a proper shape this shape has a specific name that is called the solenoid solenoid okay solo solenoid so solenoid is what it means that when we wrap the object any substance in a solenoid or in a wire conductor in such a way that it should the, the the formation it should be cylindrical for formation or it should be which is also called the, the solenoid then when we turn on the switch when we provide the supply the current like in this diagram what's happening current's moving and what's happening current here okay it's flowing like this and not it's not flowing straight upward not flowing straight downward not straight left or right okay not any, any proper direction but in a current is in a circular form keep the difference in the mind current is flowing in the circular form so what happens when current will flow in the worker in the, in the circular form of course this this the, 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 this object this magnetic substance this is iron iron is a magnetic substance so it will comes in the cloud of a magnetic lines of forces Magnetic forces produce around it. Which type of magnetic forces? So this is the distinct property that when we just turn, rotate, place the object in the solenoid, then this magnetic substance it gain the same properties, same as what as the bar magnet, as the bar magnet. Okay. So what I'm saying, listen once again, that when we place any magnetic substance inside the solenoid, that magnetic substance, and if when and when the current is going to flow through the conductor to the solenoid, then the magnetic substance it will gain the properties like a bar magnet. And if it's a bar magnet, it must have the north and south pole. So in the same way, now if it becomes the mag bar the, the magnet and it gains the property of bar magnet, then there will be the magnetic lines of forces around it, like a bar magnet. As 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 here, I'm repeating that what look over here. These the magnetic lines of forces are existing around it, same like a bar magnet. So if the magnetic lines of forces are existing around it, these are the lines of forces. So they must have a direction, okay? And they have the direction. So another important thing after knowing this, after making the electromagnet. And getting to know that the lines of forces, same like a bar magnet, will be produced or generate around it by itself is the natural property. Then the next thing is then how we will get to know the direction. Okay, so it's very simple for that purpose. Also, we use the right hand rule. So this is the second second aspect, second part of a right hand rule. Here the way is a little different. So don't mix up. Before I use the right hand rule when it is flowing upward or downward in any straight direction, rather left or the right. But now I'm using the right hand rule when it is flowing through the solenoid. Then how I can get to know about the north and the south pole? It's very simple. Okay, see what is this? The thumb of the right hand. Here you have to adjust your fingers. Okay, see here the direction is the given. Direction is what? See the direction of current is upward. Direction of current is upward, 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 upward. Okay, so where the direction of current is in the upward directions, you have to adjust the fingers according to the flow of direction of flow of current. As here, we were adjusting the thumb in the direction of flow of current. Here is opposite. Here you will adjust the fingers in the direction of the flow of current. So it's upward. So after this, uh, that then whatever the direction by itself it will come for the thumb. The thumb will represent the direction of the north. So if thumb is here, this is the north. Other side will be the south. Same thing though here. Here what? Here current is downward. Just see the the movement, the curling of fingers in the downward. If the curling of fingers is in the downward direction, in the downward direction of curling fingers, so thumb by itself, thumb of what? Thumb of right and roll. It will, it will moves, it will direct it towards the right side. So it means the north pole pole will be towards the north, towards the right side. So keep in mind, just for practice, see the one example, one more example. See here, the what is this? This is the solenoid. Here, see the direction of current is the upward direction. So how you will get to know the north and south pole? So fingers will be will be curved in the upward direction as i have discussed above so what will be happen you will see the thumb will comes in this direction north always it will comes towards the north in the same way when it current is in the downward direction when you adjust the fingers towards the in the downward direction call the finger in the downward directions you will see thumb will go by itself 
towards the right side and that's why the north pole will be here but in simple by tape you also can keep in mind and this is the constant rule also but data always you apply and check wherever you need to trace out not on the south pole okay but the tip is what which usually occur 99 99 percent you can say that from the always from the positive side in north pole comes okay in the, because if in the left side when the positive is in the left side it will be what because then current will be in the upward direction and when positive is the positive supply positive polarity is to the right side right hand side then the direction of current will it will comes in the downward direction so if the positive supply is towards the right side then this will be the north direction and if positive will be the left side then this will be the direction. it means that we can say that in the direction of the positive side when the direction of the positive side always north pole comes see north north a positive north positive north okay if you just see the previous examples okay see current is moving upward it means this is the positive over here so moving because current is uh, no here this is current is moving upward okay so if current is moving up upward in this directions so what will be happen so this is the uh, here just apply apply the rule apply the rule. always it cannot be means satisfy all the time okay so but mostly mostly when you apply the rule it happens from positive side we get the north pole but better apply the right hand and confirm it that what is the direction of clockwise or the anti-clockwise uh, uh, when current is flowing in the uh, straight direction and when current is flowing in the uh, solenoid then just which side is the north pole which side is the south pole or the right hand rule so these are the two aspects two kinds of a right hand rule this is the same thing what we have discussed before what the mutual interaction that when the same poles will comes in front of one in front of one another face one another what will be happen motion repulsion will be produced okay i have discussed before and here was same thing like but now this is a difference what that here one is a magnet electromagnet because that magnet is going to form with the help of electric supply so when electromagnet is placed between the bar magnets then what happens the motion will be produced in the electromagnet keep in mind listen again that whenever any electromagnet will be placed in the inside the bar magnet a force will exert on it it will experience who the electromagnet will experience a force and it will start to rotate depends on the direction of the current it can rotate in the clockwise it can rotate in the, in the anti-clockwise okay that i explained before and later i will also explain with the help of animated video okay and the, here the last thing but not the least that is that when the force is existing I mean when we place electromagnet electromagnet this is electromagnet we probably supply suppose that here the direction of current is the downward so okay so here I suppose the positive supply here the negative supply in this side this connector is connecting like this okay then what's happening so here when current will pass through this magnetic substance it will become electromagnet so this will become electromagnet right why electromagnet because it is going to become it is going to form magnet to the flow of current second thing we can say this electromagnet is placed inside the magnetic field of a bar magnet not to south okay so it means there are the mutual interaction of the two magnetic fields one magnetic field due to the bar magnet and one magnetic field due to the electromagnet okay number one number two electro electromagnet so when this due to this the mutual interactions what will be happen the force will exert on the electromagnets so force means if force will direct it will move where it will move in the direction of force suppose force is upward so motion of traction it will be also upward if force is downward what will be the direction of motion of the electromagnet definitely it will be also downward okay but how we check it this we checked with the help of left hand rule or complete name fleming left hand rule left hand rule or fleming left hand rule what this is listen carefully and keep in mind this left left hand rule i also will explain with the help of animated video the same lesson lesson please don't miss any part of the lesson please if you want to be the best in this concept all right so left hand rule what is first thing of course we need the left hand second thing here we used what the thumb first finger and the second finger other two we closed we use these three 
okay so you can say these are the constant they will be, they will they keep the same uh, same shape but this way we manage this we uh, arranged the or changed means you can say the other variable okay so we use these two fingers and one thumb so thumb always represent the force force mean direction of force or direction of motion what about the first finger first finger always tells us the direction of magnetic field magnetic field of what magnetic field of electromagnet no the magnetic field of bar magnet the magnetic field lines of a bar magnet who the first finger keep it in mind don't mess up that here magnetic field means the magnetic field of a bar magnet not the magnetic field of a uh, electromagnet because there's also magnetic field around the uh, electromagnet in clockwise and the anti clockwise direction before we have discussed and the third finger see this is what this is the current which current conventional direction of the conventional current what we are providing so here because we to know uh, here we provide the dc supply the dc current okay okay so listen once again then i will implement it that what we use thumb for the force of the motion magnetic field of a bar magnet and flow of current where in the electromagnetic or in the conductor which will move or which will experience a force or the which will experience the motion okay so the this the, the current direction of the current in that we need to arrange okay all right now look over here that here what's happening here current is look at this positive here negative so it means kind of flowing like this direction see so first thing don't go to the thumb first adjust the first finger always use this i mean this will always use the first time you know, close all the fingers and we click on thumb first open the first this finger first finger and arrange it towards the magnetic field see towards the north to this towards the magnetic field from north to south of the bar magnet then always open second finger where towards the flow of current see current is here downward so this is the downward then at the last always open the thumb okay open the thumb and it will show you the direction of the motion direction of the force so here what is the direction of force direction of the force is upward all right listen once again see here this first always open first finger this is the first finger towards the bar magnet the magnetic field lines from north to south second what the current then open second finger so flow of current it is in the see this is the current in the downward direction okay and third open the thumb by itself but it must be perpendicular all these three must be perpendicular on one another this is very important okay what thumb see thumb is perpendicular on this one this is also perpendicular on this one this is perpendicular this one all are perpendicular to one another then this this is the essential condition that the angle between them must be perpendicular then it will give you the direction of force or direction of motion of the electromagnet that in which direction it will move so keep in mind that what we have discussed that if we use two magnetic field lines one due to bar magnet one due to electric magnet then what happens electromagnet start to move because force exit on it why i have discussed before so at the last just we make it finalize that this effect this movement in the electromagnet okay what it is like look over here if you see this is the diagram okay this is the complete diagram of the mother dc motor but that you know we're not talking about over here the dc motor here just we're talking about only about what about the motor effect for the dc motor just right after this okay i will make the video maybe after two or three days i will upload it for you for you guys so don't miss uh, the, that video also okay so now come back now let's see here what this is the bar magnets here north to south north if this was this north if this is south what happens here the place conductor And if I place here the proper supply to for the current through it, why? Just to make it electromagnet. So now there are two magnetic field lines. One magnetic field lines around this. Another magnetic field lines around what? Around this magnetic natural magnet. So it means there's a mutual interaction between the two magnetic field lines. So what will be happen? That the motion uh, this conductor will move. It can move in the upward. It can move in the downward. Look over here in this diagram. Okay, see 
what is this the always i said told you always open first the first finger where towards the not to south pole then open the finger say current current in this conductor is in the downward direction correct is in the downward direction so this is positive this is negative in the other side for example this okay so not to south then this towards the flow of current because current is in the downward direction as, as i said and then by itself you will see when they will be in the perpendicular shape so what will be happen that it means that this conductor it will move in the upward direction as you can see here this arrow the force will be act in the upward directions how because thumb is upward it means motion of the conductor of electromagnetic which conductor electromagnetic it will be in the upward direction so this is the motor effect these all what are all these concepts what i have discussed this i will show you make you understand and I, if there are any doubts that will i will make i will make it clear for you with the help of animated video so please now just go towards the animated video enjoy and learn well properly that what is a motor effect with the help of animated video okay guys pay attention watch carefully you see this is the conductor through which i will flow the current watch keenly the positive conventional current direction of flow current is in the downward direction now if we take the compass we can trace the path of magnetic field lines around that conductor as i have explained on the whiteboard so just observe what's happening when the current is following downward direction what is the direction of the flow uh, direction of magnetic field lines clockwise so keep in mind when our current is flowing downward always the direction of magnetic field lines around the current carrying conductor will be clockwise now just watch carefully when the polarity of the current will be changed what will be happen with the magnetic field lines around the current carrying conductor See, our direction has changed. Now, positive is downward. Conventional current direction is from bottom to the top. So, as the direction is reversed, and with the same procedure, when we will find the field lines, many field lines on the conductor, you can see what is the direction. When it's upward, they are anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. So, the constant rule keep in mind whenever the direction of flow of current is in the upward direction. Oh, we also can find it with the help of a right hand rule as I have discussed before on the whiteboard. Or this is, this is also a tip also you can keep in mind that upward directions. Actually this is, this we only can use when current is upward or downward. But if the current is left side or the right side then but on the straight path again we can find these direction of magnetic field lines. But there you need to confirm with the help of right hand rule. Go ahead. No care. What is the solenoid? Inside the solenoid, there is a magnetic substance. So when we provide the current, what will become? It will become electromagnet. And because this magnet is going to be formed uh, due to the effect of solenoid, when current is flowing in such a shape, which is called the solenoid, when it is wrapped with a conductor, then we know that, as I have discussed in the detail on the white, this uh, whiteboard. So what will be happen? It will be formed same it will act same as a power magnet it will gain the north and the south pole just observe carefully see if i'm going to change the polarity of a current then the poles of a magnet is also going to be changed observe clearly to see the 
Now if I change from here directly by altering the direction of the current in the polarity, again same thing will be happen. Here I'm going to show you that how we can produce the motion due to the mutual interaction of the two magnetic field lines. See the same the south came over here due to because before north was here that's due to the repulsion it turned and now when it will comes back again and if you change if you change the direction of the what of the polarity here positive negative and you if you succeed to make this to the north again it will continue to move okay, so just watch carefully see how will change this polarity just to make it north pole this how it will be north pole when we change see as we change the polarity it becomes north and it starts to rotate so if i repeat the same procedure this motion it will be continue it means that you can keep in mind that if we change so therefore now if we place this the solenoid inside it mean the solenoid and inside there's a magnetic substance and if we continuously change the polarity I mean the north and south pole of this magnet I mean electromagnet due to the solenoid effect when we flow the current through it and if we succeed to make here north and here north what will be happen to starts to move and if we continue this thing that it always remains north okay I mean, this is north when it turn when other sides come over here then this side should be north when this side again will come over here this side will be the north means whatever the side here this is the cap and the, the, the this is the other end so what rather rather cap is here it should be north rather this is the here uh, this also should be the north pole always this side whatever is coming in front of the north pole of a bar magnet it must be the north pole how just of course just by changing the polarity okay right let's observe carefully Okay, after this, now here I will explain you with the help of that animated video about the Fleming's left hand rule and its use. What is the use of Fleming left hand rule? That we can get to know what will be the direction of force, what will be the direction of motion, where in the conductor, in the electromagnet. So, here this you can see north to south, magnetic field lines. This is the conductor through which current is flowing in the downward direction. So then see how we apply the Fleming's left hand rule. Thumb, first finger, second finger. First finger always magnetic field of a board magnet from north to south. Second finger always current, conventional current from positive towards negative. And thumb always shows what? The direction of the force or the direction of the motion. Fleming left hand rule. Just see how we apply the Fleming left hand rule. Left hand in such a way that these three things means the thumb first finger second finger first finger should be to from north to south towards the magnetic field lines of a bar magnets then the second finger should be towards the flow of current in the downward direction current is downward then what will be the direction of a motion or the direction of a force on what on that electromagnet through which current is flowing so it will be upward where's the thumb upward so watch carefully. Observe now keenly another aspect, important aspect of motor effect rule. 
say now the conductor through which current is flowing it is parallel it is parallel to the magnetic lines of forces then what will be happen according to that rule if the direction of the current and the direction of magnetic field lines both are parallel then what will be happen no force no motion in the conductor in the electromagnetic it means that only force can act only this electromagnetic or conductor through which current is flowing can experience the force when it is just perpendicular on the magnetic field lines okay all right so both are parallel no force on the electromagnetic so this was all about the fleming left hand rule that how we can implement it and how we can get to know the direction of a force or the direction of a motion because always motion produced in the direction of a force now this is the time for recapitulation so for the definition as this is the rule what we have discussed this is actually basic principle on the behalf of which uh, you can understand easily well the dc motor and that video i will make just right after a few days so don't miss that video because this all concepts i will implement over there on the dc motor to just make you perfect make you uh, prepare well uh, for the dc motor so what was this this was only the base the principle the motor effect what it is which tells us which gives us all the basic concept that how we can rotate a conductor current carrying conductor how we can produce a motion how we can rotate it at 360 degree angle why so that we can convert electric energy into the mechanical energy then regarding to its parts that in this principle which things we have utilized basically we utilize uh, here the principles which principles the two right hand rule we have utilized one right hand rule uh, that we, we utilize when the current is passing through the conductor straight conductor either upward downward left side or right side we easily can find the direction of magnetic field lines rather they are clockwise or the anti-clockwise and we also have discussed here the right another type of right hand rule which also tells us that uh, how we can find the north and the south pole of a, that magnet that electromagnet which we form with the help of a solenoid so easily we can find that which is the north pole which is the south pole and also we have discussed in this motor effect what the fleming's left hand rule okay what is the fleming left hand rule okay what is its summary in short that it helps us to find out the direction of a motion of a of a conductor through which current is flowing all right and out of this here in this effect also we have discussed that how magnetic field lines produced around a current carrying conductor and how we can produce the repulsive force how we can rotate the conductor due to the mutual interaction of magnetic fields related to the notes i will mention this in the description below thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe it yet